Should you need to make amendments to employees' pay slips that have already been finalised, these can be reopened and processed again. To reopen pay slips in the last period processed, return to this payroll period by either clicking the Previous Period button on the menu bar or by selecting the period on the payroll schedule. Click on Reopen pay slips to view your list of employees. If you wish to reopen all your employees' pay slips, simply click All, followed by OK. Alternatively, if you only wish to reopen pay slips for some of your employees, tick the employee or employees required and click OK. These pay slips will now be available for editing and finalising again. To reopen more than one finalised period for one or more of your employees, Select the period you wish to go back to on the payroll schedule. Click on Reopen Pay Slips to view your list of employees. Please note this procedure will reopen all subsequent payroll periods you have finalised for the employees you select. If you wish to reopen all your employees' pay slips again, simply click All, followed by OK. Alternatively, if you only wish to reopen pay slips for some of your employees, Tick the employee or employees required and click OK. This pay period, as well as all subsequent pay periods, will now be open for processing the selected employees again. If you have already submitted one or more full payment submissions to HMRC for the pay slips you have reopened, if the employee's pay date matches the pay date that was included in the original FPS, an amended FPS will not be created on refinalising. Instead, an additional FPS can subsequently be created and submitted to HMRC to report the change. If an FPS has been created but not yet submitted to HMRC, any amendments made to an employee's payslip will be automatically updated within the unsent FPS when the payslip is finalised again. If all employees' payslips are reopened, the unsent FPS will be deleted altogether. Please note, if you discover an error in any of the year-to-date totals submitted in your final FPS or additional FPS for the tax year, and is now after the 19th of April following the end of the tax year, then only an earlier year update can be submitted. An EYU simply reports the adjustment made in the payroll, as opposed to reporting restated year-to-date totals for the tax year to HMRC. For example, if you previously submitted a year-to-date pay figure of £10,000 for an employee on your last FPS for the year, then realise that the figure should have been £12,000, after making the correction, the EYU will submit the change to the pay figure as plus £2,000. To submit an EYU, first reopen the pay slips, make your amendments and finalise accordingly. Next, in the RTI menu, Select Earlier Year Update from the new menu and submit to HMRC.